Hello viewers, this is AK Wasp, and this is a response to my Corporal B solo guide. And basically what I'll be showing you in this video is how to uh, recover from dying at the Corporal Beast, which is something which is almost unavoidable, and I regretfully forgot to include it in the original guide. So if you haven't seen the original guide, check it out. It uh, goes over how to take on the Corporal Beast in a solo method. And uh, basically this video... Uh, it's just a supplement to that, and got some very similar gear to what I recommend with the Goliath gloves and all that. And, yeah, so basically I'm just going to go and kill myself, and then run back and get my stuff. And what I would like to demonstrate is uh, that basically, no matter how mu how good you are at Carbal Beast, eventually you are going to get killed. Um, and when you get killed, you need to, first of all, be patient, keep a calm, collected head, and it's not the end of the world, it's not so bad, and as you can see just by my not even trying right here, I'm not even really getting owned by the beast. Uh, but yeah, no, eventually I should get killed because he's way stronger than I am, and hopefully that'll happen in a moment now, there we go. Alright, so, I died. Oh no! Uh, it's, it's not that bad. Couple things you want to uh, be aware of, make sure you have a games necklace uh, in your bank. Uh, if not, you want to secure one with you. And also, don't worry about dropping the Ganodermic armor. Uh, it won't degrade to zero like Barrow's armor does. But you don't want to lose your Goliath gloves. Uh, preferably, you want to hold on to those. So I recommend keeping the Goliath gloves and keeping uh, just a nice... Uh, the Ganodermic armor is nice to have with you because it gives some nice defenses. Uh, set any respawn that's close to bank. And then, yeah, there you go. He came back to life. Um, right here. And look at that. You got no equipment with you, but it's not the end of the world. Because you just go into your bank. And you pull out a games necklace. Games necklace. And I usually grab 10 sharks. Which is uh, way more than needed. Uh, but it completely covers me. And just grab the Corporal Beast Teleport. And you're going to run back to your grave. Now, I'm not sure exactly what the grave timer is. I think it's three minutes. Uh, could be as low as one or two minutes. Um, I'll figure that out and I'll put that in the description and or as a comment response. So go ahead and check down there. But you can see by keeping the Goliath gloves, the, uh, you know, I've kept them. Otherwise, they turn into coins. Uh, anyway, so once you are back and ready to reloot your gear, uh, turn on your protect from uh, magical or uh, whatever and go ahead and loot your stuff Preferably and it doesn't really matter what order you pick stuff up in But I always like to pick up the Ganodermic armor first and throw it back on because that's the most uh, helpful and Then go ahead and eat your uh, Supplies as you need them and just go ahead and spam click your pile for the most part and Yeah, it works out really well uh, normally there'll be at least one Sir Doman brew in your death pile anyway, so if for whatever reason you needed to uh, eat uh, more than what you have with you, you can just do it that way. As you're uh, throwing stuff on, throw some gear back on. It'll help uh, free up some inventory space. And then just like that, absolutely no, uh, no worries, no stress. Just go ahead and loot your gear up and you got your stuff all back. And you're ready to uh, bank, resupply, and take on the Carpal Beast all over again. So hopefully you found this uh, video to be helpful. And uh, if you are interested in how to actually take on the Carpal Beast in Solo, check out the original uh, video, the Solo Guide. So anyways, this was uh, AK Wasp, and hope you have a great day.